seat just hurt. <laughs> huh? Put your phone down. Well, it's kind of been a, just an up and down year for you guys, but now you've secured the fourth seed, you've just secured a bye going into the tournament. You know, what are your thoughts on how you guys have been able to weather the year and stay resilient and get to this point? I mean, it's, it's part of playing basketball. You know, it's not always going to be perfect, but we, we, we feel like we had a good spot. You know, everybody's playing well. Everybody's bought in. The whole team's bought in. We're getting a lot of energy off the bench, a lot of energy from the starters. So I think everybody's in a good space. Everybody's happy with their role, happy where they're at. And, I mean, we just got to go and make something happen. Are you feeling confident going into the tournament? We all are. We all feel a little, a little confident, but not even confident. I mean, we work for this. We've been going, working hard. we got a little momentum, buying into the defensive end and rebounding well. So that's what, that's what builds confidence. What was the difference for you guys in this game tonight? I guess for both of you, just what do you feel like got, got you this win? Because it did start off very well for, for you guys on either end of the floor. <laughs> I say that, um, just how, how connected we were. I mean, it didn't go well to start off. and I mean, we, we actually weren't playing too bad to start off. We just gave up a lot of second chance points. I think they had like 10 of their 12 or something, like 10 or 14 points for second chance. And I mean, we just, like, we got a great group of guys and everybody on the team from all 15 of us love each other. So, like, that's a, that's a great feeling. So, I just, the connectedness, you know, we were just connected. Nobody got their head down. Nobody was like, why, wow, this ain't going right for me today. And it's, it just, you could feel the energy from everybody, you know. Been here for five years. Was it hard to walk off the court potentially for your last time? I don't. I wouldn't say hard. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I mean, it was fun. We need. We're in a, a must-win game for us because we needed to buy him, and we won, and it, it was just fun and exciting. So, I mean, it feels like home. I wouldn't say it was tough. I mean, I feel like home. You know. Did you think about that a little during the game, though? Like, did you have that moment where you realized it's kind of your last time playing here? Nah, not yet. You know. Nah, I mean, I kind of thought about it all week already, but you know, I don't know. All, all week. <laughs> It's my nephew. <laughs> and Fale, what was the, the difference for you defensively? You had a lot of blocks. Dana said, I think all five of them saved layups. Just when do you know you can get those shots and or those shots to get blocked? And just I think it started. Uh, sorry, I saw it started like when I see my teammate moving. So I just don't want to give up on them, and I was like, I'm gonna just do it. You know, sometimes I just be, like I just be ex how to say it, bro? Expecting. Yeah. So no. <laughs> I expect to be blacked out, and then sometimes I just be lazy to get it. Not lazy, but like I don't want to get fouled. So when I'm out, I just, you know. Did, did Dana challenge you at all to be more active blocking shots? Yeah, every time. Every time, you know. Sometimes I just, uh huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You're good, you got it. <laughs> uh, with it being senior day, uh, a lot of the seniors, you guys have all. Um, had a big impact in kind of all the adversity with injuries, you know, being up and down with the inconsistency of the season. How do you feel like uh, your growth as a class has just kind of gone, grown from the beginning of the year until now? We got to go ahead first. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's grown a lot. I mean, Key, from Key, Jermaine, uh, Waddle was dealing with a little back. Like, everybody fought through a little in injury, so we never, like, at the beginning of the year got to build that camaraderie. But I feel like as the as the season got older, the roles were established a little bit. Everybody knew, like, kind of how much they were playing. Or, like, it, of course, people get hot and play a little longer. But you, you kind of get your idea of your role. So, I, and, and everybody, nobody's complaining about their role. Everybody just bought into it and, and, and trying to max out their role. So, that's, you know. Dana said ahead of the Oregon State game, the trainers told you that to sit, but you wanted to play. Just how hard has it been to just get yourself physically ready to play the last couple of weeks just because of the injuries you've been dealing with? Um, I mean, it's part of basketball. I can't make no excuses, so i just doing what I got to do, you know? I didn't, only I wanted to play because I just, I, I mean, I love I love our team and I love winning, so just compete with, with my brothers, you know? You got to be tough to do that, you know? It's <laughs> toughness. It's my nephew, so I got to teach him to be tough. <laughs> Is that scary in that sense, though, Will, to kind of be told that you're injured and shouldn't be playing? You're still you played 37 minutes tonight. You played 31 at Oregon State. Is it kind of, I guess, scary to put your body at risk like that? Nah, I don't think about it like that. I mean, it's it's up to me. I get the option. It's not like you know what I'm saying. Like so, so like I'm. If I was scared, I wouldn't have played. I wouldn't, it's not really scary. Like I'm not, I'm not really injured. I'm just hurt a little bit, you know. So if I could play through it, I'm gonna play. 
And, you know, I don't want – even if I don't go out there and score, I have the biggest impact. I don't want to let, let my team down, let my brothers down, you know. I'm supposed to be, like, one of the, the, the three or four leaders on the team. So, you know, them seeing me suiting up just knows that, like, yeah, we all here to go to water day, you know. So that's the main part about it. You guys have both been very supportive of Kalel and pushing through and, and playing hard. Dana singled him out today saying you played really well. What, what do you just see from him today? Physicality. Like, even the two two layups he missed, I don't think he's used to being that close to the rim. He ain't, you know, he ain't been that physical in a long time. Physicality, man. And when, when you're physical, even, like, he gave up a bucket today, but it, the dude earned it. Like, it wasn't like so. So that just gives himself, that gives Khalil confidence. Like, okay, I belong here today. And it shows on the offense. Like, a lot of the buckets are, he, he made were tough buckets, but he made them because confidence from the physicality starting on defense, you know. And, it, and and when he's that physical, everybody believe we all believe in him regardless. But when he's that physical, I know he can feel the love because everybody like, yeah, Lil, yeah, Lil. So then the game becomes a lot easier for him because now he feels, you know what I mean? He feels like he's a part of the team, you know. The fact that I got a deal with that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's learning. I mean, he got to bang with Fale all day. So eventually, either you're going to get buried every day, or you're going to understand. Well, I got to be a little more physical, and I think it's it's, it's starting to work. It's starting to weigh on him. Would you say that's one of the things that you're going to need? Heading into the tournament in Vegas, that's maybe what's going to separate you um, from some other teams you might face. What, what of Khalil's physicality? I guess the team's physicality. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, some some of the games that we we lost this year, like. We just got out physical, like, you know, it wasn't nothing else about it. People out rebounded us or, like, they cut and nobody bumped them. They was bumping us, you know. And um, today show, today and last game show, like, they were body and fire like, every time he caught it, double team with them. And this show, like, we just keep fighting through this. It takes a lot of toughness, you know. And it, it's great knowing that we could play through these physical <coughs> games or we could play when the game's running up and down. So, definitely. Good. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank y'all. Last time in this room. <laughs> <laughs>